Mr. Fangar's reign over the frozen world of Chima continues, as his ice plague is turning friends to foes, turning their eyes glowing white and turning them into mindless zombies. Meanwhile, the Mammoth Walker attacks the Gorilla Forest, but the Gorilla Mech, all fired up, luckily defends the forest. These are the Legends of Chima. The crocs obviously need the fire chi more. No, the wolves obviously need the fire chi more. Excuse me, but I believe the eagles need this fire chi more. Calm down. The fire chi will be distributed equally, as we always do at the Lion Temple. But four eagle scholars are frozen. We need to unfreeze them. We need it so our warriors can fight the ice with fire. But our king is frozen. Calm down, Krug. We'll unfreeze my father in... eventually. Wolves, eagles, stop fighting. We need unity if we wish to survive. Yes, keep fighting. It is all part of my master plan. Stop this quarrel. You should not be fighting each other, but fighting the hunters. We trust only agreed to fight together when there is a common enemy. Yes, and the hunters are precisely that. Citizens of Chima, I have important news. Shots were fired. Did anyone get hit? I did. How do we fight him? He's our friend. War is, you have to fight the ice taking over your brain. The ice moves with me. He's probably calling for backup. Be prepared for anything, my friends. You may take our land, but as long as Chi falls, hope will always live on. Then our task is simple. Stop the Chi falls. Bring out the super weapon. Fire! Only one target left. Three, two, one. No! Stop! You can't hurt Eris! I must fight the ice! One down, one to go. Retreat! Boris, how'd you manage to cure yourself of the ice disease? The truth is that not even the coldest shards of ice can puncture a heart of fire.